guys, it's Caitlin Lindstrom, the Marketing Content Manager for LEAP, the Lansing Economic Area Partnership, your regional economic development agency serving Clinton, Eaton, and Ingham counties, and you're watching the LEAP Weekly. I'm here in downtown East Lansing on this beautiful summer day at the location of one of our region's newest pieces of public art right at the entrance of the East Lansing Farmers Market at Valley Court Park. This week you'll hear from President and CEO Bob Trezice about other exciting public art projects that wrapped up this week, and we'll also talk about Site Selection Magazine's recent sustainability rankings. Well, first of all, placemaking equals talent development, and that is how we attract and draw and grow business. That is our global economic development formula that we have embraced at LEAP for a long time, uh, and our region is doing a great job at that formula. So let's see if I can do this right, just this week alone. So LEAP last week announced our $10,000 grant and tower mural um, in downtown Lansing. 501, amazing group, uh, unveiled their mural Thursday night in downtown Lansing. Earlier in the week, the Art for Wildlife group unveiled numerous beautiful murals celebrating nature and wildlife in a very urban setting. And this is only the first of 50 to 100 murals that they plan for the Frandor area. Meridian Township and Hazlitt have reactivated a park in their area with these beautiful art sort of sailboat uh, work. And also in downtown East Lansing, there's a beautiful sculpture added, this, this beautiful flowering plant. But here, is sort of the granddaddy which is our riverfront which will have all kinds of art and beach and fireplace and beautiful lighting it's just going to completely activate this amazing uh, riverfront site selection magazine did a very in-depth um, analysis of communities across America and how they have built their communities based on sustainability and of course there are a lot more companies and talent that look for sustainability as one of the criteria to locate their business our region Region ranked number three I think in great part because of the so many brownfield projects that we have done over the last decade literally scores of blighted properties contaminated sites have been brought back in the brought back in the tax rolls have been redeveloped restored places full of life and creativity apartments and retail maybe this is the biggest example which is the power station project on the riverfront in downtown Lansing um, this is a hundred and eighty two million dollar project went from an abandoned power station in the river to the national headquarters of AF Group. All of this adds up to us being ranked as one of the great sustainable communities in America. And finally today we're here at the Board of Water and Light's brand new substation in downtown Lansing. Board of Water and Light did everything they promised and more. This building looks amazing and beautiful on the corner and gateway into Rio Town. Happens to be right next to our office too so we really appreciate is the key neighbor to this building that it looks great and is a great introduction to downtown. As you can see, there's actually live vegetation and flowering on the walls itself. Further down, there's all kinds of artwork on the building. And then, of course, the gardens have been restored exactly the way they were and enhanced all on the riverfront. So I just want to say thank you and congratulations to Dick Peffley and the Board of Board of Water and Light, all the employees that have been involved in this project. Not only is it providing very reliable and important electricity to downtown, but of course, it looks beautiful. It was done right, first class. Thanks a lot, Lansing Board of Water and Light. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure that you're signed up for the Leap Weekly email newsletter so you'll get the latest and greatest in economic development news right to your inbox every Friday. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. I want to give a congratulations and shout out to President Brent Knight of Lansing Community College. He just has announced his retirement. Um, he has spent 12 years at Lansing Community College. Me being a city boy uh, growing up with LCC, this is a tremendous asset to our community and uh, workforce development, producing great citizens. He has uh, gotten the university really spiffed up. Um, it looks spectacular externally and internally. Uh, the art Work, the presentation of the campus. It's just a tremendous sense of pride for our community, engaged now and interactive with the downtown. Uh, Dr. Knight has overseen tremendous program development in many skilled trade areas, ranging from aerospace to manufacturing centers, uh, insurance industry. I mean, he's really been cutting edge. He has been, and LCC is, a tremendous asset for economic
economic development. These guys help us every day trying to attract and grow business. Uh, Brent Knight, uh, I think you go down, is uh, historically the greatest president in LCC history. <laughs>